Welcome back again. Um, today I'm going to be focusing on tariff systems and break-even analysis. Um, I'm pretty sure you have heard about these terms. Uh, these two terms are in your grade 11, the tariff systems and the break-even analysis. So um, for the purpose of this section, so tariff systems are meant uh, for you to determine the best appropriate option uh, for you, it's either you're pur purchasing um, a vehicle, uh, you know, through contract, or you are renting a house, or you are having some sort of a, a cell phone contract. So, this is where you determine the best option for your for your for for, for your contract uh, and agreement uh, that you're gonna have. So, um, you'll be um, supplied with various contract. Of which if you take a look at this uh, table right here uh, the description of this table is uh, based on the photocopy rental so uh, it's based on photocopy rental and uh, you can see down here that there are various contract contract number one number two and number three and then allow me to first um, dissect and explain this table uh, for you so that you can best understand it so um, in contract number one, you can see that uh, the monthly rental fee is 600. And then the additional fee, that ad is standing for additional fee. The additional fee is 30 cent per page, right? And then um, the free page is there, it's none for contract number one, it's none, right? And then let us go on to contract number two. When you look at contract number two, you can see that the monthly rental fee is 850. And then the additional fee, it's 20 cent. And then lastly, free pages that you're given are 400 pages, right? And then the last contract, which is contract number three, the monthly rental fee is 1,150. And then the additional fee thereof is 10 cents per page. And then the free page that you're given are 800 pages, right? So, if you take a look closely um, at this table, you would say that the monthly rental fee is considered to be a fixed amount. So, regardless of the number of pages you have, you have to pay this amount. So, but this amount is going to change depending, of course, on the pages that you get, right? So, if you take a look here on the second column, I mean on the third column, you'd see that the additional the additional fee for contract number one is 30 cents. So that is basically 30 cents per page. And then the free pages that you're given now. So you don't, you don't get any free page right there. Okay? So um, now the question that can come. Uh, but before I dive into that, I want you to understand various variables that, um, that uh, are often... Um, spoken about um, in this section so you will remember that um, in the in a case like this where you have to determine the break-even analysis so it's often done in a in a graphic depiction so basically you will have to understand various um, variables that are there and on this case if you take a look at this rental uh, we can see that we have the cost and also we have number of pages and number of pages we have to understand that um, number of pages, number of pages is a variable and also the cost, right? So you have to understand here that um, in this variable, there is one variable that depends on the other, right? So if you take a look at this, um, at this table, you would see that Number of pages, this is considered to be independent variable and the cost to be dependent variable because the cost is depending on the number of pages that you get, right? So the question, therefore, that can come would be to uh, calculate the total cost for contract number one, number two, of course, depending on the page. But now what I want to teach you today is to be able to determine the formula uh, in order to calculate this total cost, right? So let us see if we can do that. So um, the total cost, the total cost for contract number one, right? Let's see. 
So now we have the fixed amount, right? And then this additional fee is considered to be a tariff, right? A tariff. Because it, it, it also depends on the number of units of pages that you get. Okay? And lastly, this one is considered to be a variable amount. A variable amount. Because this is the amount that is going to vary uh, due to pages. Because uh, you're not going to um, receive... It's, it's very uh, less likely that you will receive a fixed number of pages, right? So, now let's take a look at the contract number one to determine the formula. So, the total cost, I'm going to use the expression of TC for total cost, is equals to um, the monthly rental fee. This is going to be the monthly rental fee of which is a fixed amount. So remember, we're still in contract number one. So the monthly rental fee is 600 rand, 600 rand, right? Plus, because we are adding other variables. So now we have to look at the tariff, the additional fee that you, you have to, to pay. So for contract number one, you have to pay 30 cent plus zero 30, right? For 30 cent. And then multiply by multiply by number of pages because that is deemed to be a variable amount it depends on the number of pages that you get your total cost of course is going to be um, is going to be dependent on the total number of pages that you're going to have so let's take a look so number of pages number of pages i'm just going to write underneath here number of pages right so let's take a look at this formula together so the total cost for contract number one is going to be 600 plus 30 cent multiplied by total number of pages and then here i'm going to put close brackets remember what we've spoken about in our first session bodumas rule that is the first rule that you're going to apply, right? So let us now move on to contract number two, okay? Contract number two. So with contract number two, it's going to be a little bit different. Why? Because we are given free pages here, right? We are given free pages. And uh, free pages that were given are 400. So let's take a look at the formula. So the TC is going to be, excuse my handwriting, so TC is going to be the fixed amount. What is the fixed amount for contract number two? The fixed amount for contract number two is 850. So that is our fixed amount, 850. Plus, it's very important that you put that plus, plus. The additional fee, which is a tariff. So in this case, we're looking at 20 cent. So it's going to be plus 0, comma, plus 0, comma, 20, right? And then multiply by, multiply by number of, multiply by number of pages multiply by number of pages right so you can see that this formula is similar to this one but it's not complete yet why because you were being given 400 pages for free so this is going to be 850 plus 0 comma 20 which is 20 cent multiply by number of pages minus 400 pages right because these are the pages that are given to you for free so if you happen to exceed 400 pages then it means the total cost is going to change but for now if you have less than 400 pages then your rate here your tariff 
it's going to be inactive because there are no pages that you are going to be obligated for because you're being given 400 pages, right? So this is going to be our second formula for contract number two, okay? So um, now I'm gonna look at contract number three. Let's take a look at contract number three. Contract number three. Contract number three. Let's see if we can determine the formula for that. The formula for contract number three is going to be as follows. So it's going to be our TC squares to, what is our fixed um, amount? Our fixed amount there is 1,150 Rand, right? Plus our unit right there, the additional fee of 10 cent. So it's going to be 0, 10 multiplied by number of pages number of pages right minus 800 pages minus 800 pages this part is very crucial this part number of pages minus 800 pages why because if you happen to have more than 800 pages it means you're going to be charged after that you're going to be charged per page after that but if you happen to have less than 800 pages then you know that you have been given 800 pages for free so you don't have to worry about that so when you're doing your calculation, you must be able to determine the best, most appropriate option for you, for your contract or your agreement, for whatever you want to purchase, right? That's very good. Now let us shift our perspective to the break-even analysis. The break-even analysis. So, if you take a look at this contract, you must be able to understand the table and later on with these formulas construct a table that determine the cost the, the cost um, based on the number of pages you have. So let's now talk about the break-even analysis. The break-even analysis I'm going to express that as B E A, right? The break-even analysis. Break-even analysis stand for Total cost. Total cost have to be equals to. Uh, sorry, the total cost. I'm just gonna write it underneath here, so so that you you see. So the total cost. equates to the total sale. So the total cost in this case, we're looking at all the costs, production cost, operation cost, and other recurring costs, costs that you may have in your, in your, in your uh, financial statement is going to equate to the total sales, the amount of money that you generate before any deductions or any expenditure, right? So, later on, we are going to look at the profit. Profit, um, selling price. Um, expenditure. Um, and cost in their full effects, okay? So in our next session, we're going to look at these four terms so that you can be able to understand the break-even analysis in detail. For now, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please drop the questions that you may have down there, and uh, I'll see you soon in our next session. Thank you.